Well, I think the easiest way to understand it is um, think about the reason that most people have for believing in God is they look at beautiful scenes of nature, they appreciate the complexity and the interaction, all the, the richness of the natural world, and they say there must be some cause that explains all of this. And so they have this supernatural cause, which they have a story about and invent as the cause of this beautiful nature. The Taoist just looks at the nature and says, oh, this is beautiful, and stops there. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. So that's the, that, that's the way in which it can be like a religion, but it's a religion in which you don't go to the further explanatory question, you just focus your religious attitudes, your moral attitudes, your life attitudes on nature. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen.